Melina, everyone was wondering, what's your first film going to be? And it turned out to be Queen and Slim. So what was it about this movie that inspired you to tackle it? What was it about this movie that inspired me to tackle it? Um, it was everything. It was everything I was looking for in a film. It was genre bending. It lives in so many different spaces that uh, that I enjoy as a filmmaker, but also just as a human. You know, it has comedy. It has drama. Uh, it has horror at times, and it's this beautiful love story. It's also, you know, really provocative. It's saying something. It's creating a dialogue, which hopefully brings about change. Um, but at the same time, it's just a really entertaining journey along with these two characters. Uh, so I knew I had to be a part of it because it was kind of everything. It was everything I experienced in my own life and everything I hoped to give forth as an artist. And as an artist, I mean, it really came through. You left this mark. Every shot is so Thank beautiful, you. so Thank deliberate, you. and it takes you along this this journey without knowing where it's gonna, where you're gonna go right. next. So it's yeah. really surprising. And then to bask in Lena's words is uh. kind of amazing. So can you talk about that? Your vision as well as her words. Yeah, my vision and her words they came together, I think, quite well in Queen and Slim, and that's the beauty between the collaboration between both Lena and I. She has this beautiful poetry that jumps off the page, and then she gives it over. And she lets me breathe life and give it a soul and take it wherever I want to take it. There's an immense sense of trust between us um, and also challenge between us where I feel like you get the best version of both of our artistry in this film. Um, and that is just, there's nothing more I could ask for in a collaborator than Lena Waithe. <laughs> and speaking about the film, I mean, I love the fact that there was no right, there's no wrong. Mm -hmm. I know this is a love letter to humanity as well as black love and black, you know, resilience. Mm -hmm. It just says so much. So can you talk a little bit about what you did with this film to bring about all of these these things, to keep it in that gray zone and make people really think about Wait, the film? Wait, say it again. So. Oh, <laughs> so I mean, because there's so much in this film in terms of a love letter to humanity. Mm -hmm. It's all about black love, mm -hmm. black strength, mm -hmm. black perseverance. Yes. But at the same time, all of your characters live in this gray zone. There is no right, there is yes, no wrong, absolutely. right? So it's this fluidity. Yeah. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, we really wanted to create a complication to the world because that's the world we live in. It's not black or white and it's always gray. Um, and so we really challenged each other, both Lena and I, to, to make it more complicated, that it's not easy because that's not what life is, and also to show what systematic racism does to the culture uh, and to the world, right? And that, you know, there's people who betray us that are, you would think that are on our side, and then we have friends and other people who may, you know, you wouldn't expect to be on our side. Uh, and that's, that's just real, it's honest, and it's authentic. And we wanted it to be a reflection of, of true life. And then speaking about the actors, I mean, when you watch mm. them, just like, just become more and more vulnerable. It's right. so beautiful. Can you talk about working with them? Yeah, working with the actors was a tremendous experience. I couldn't have asked for a better queen or slim with Jody Turner-Smith and Daniel Kaluuya. Um, I say that he is all Paul Robeson or Denzel Washington. He is really the actor of our generation. There's nothing that he can't do. Uh, he really inhabits every character he takes on, and he plays a different person in every film you see him in. Um, and he takes scenes and words and imagery to, to monumental heights that you couldn't imagine as a, as a filmmaker, as a creator. So it's just like, the same way Lena just gave over the script, I feel like I gave over you know, my direction, and then he just elevated it um, so much and, and gave it real life and, and gave it humanity. Uh, and Jodi the same, like she is tremendous. She's, you know, less experienced and we really wanted to use this as a moment to create a new platform for a, a new black actress and to diversify our, our industry. And she stepped in and was so confident, was so royal, uh, was so strong in who she was, but then also could be vulnerable, right? And could be um, naive at times, you know? That was really beautiful to see that progression of her character and she's an immense talent. Uh, that, you know, the world is, is about to be introduced to and fall in love with.